Hello friend, welcome back. In our previous video, we successfully designed our multi-images. Right now, there is only one option as a choose image, right? So now if you select that image, like if you pressing that controller, you can see that is that means if you press that control and into this control, you can actually not able to select that multiple one. First of all, I want to do, I want to uh, update that part. So if you want to update it, it's very simple. That is our input field, right? That is input field as a type, as a file. So here I want to do, I want to select that multiple one. So if you want to add that multiple one, then that is another command as a multiple. Okay, multiple, you can see when you select it as a multiple, then automatically that will be selected. And also in our image field, image field area, after that I also want to, want to pass one of the array. Okay, that is empty array. That means multiple data I want to store in here. If you now click as a save all, now if you select it, like I just refresh that page. Now if you select one another image, now if you're pressing the control and you can see right now you are able to select that multiple images. Great, and if you now open it, now you can see there is a seven file is added. Great. So I want to do, I want to now update. Okay, I want to update it. If you want to update, that is one of the form. Into the form, there is a multi-part form data will be needed. Action will be needed. Our method will be as a post method. First of all, I want to create one of the route and I just name that route that will be as a store. Okay, I name it. Whatever the name actually choose. Right now, I name it as a store and then the multi image. Okay, multi image. So that type of one of the route now I want to create if you now go to our web in our about controller I want to create it that will be one of the post method better I copy it and after that I paste it. Okay, so now I name it in here as a store multi image I copy it so that will be our name route as a store multi image and also our URL I name it as a store multi a store multi and then the image. Okay, so th that will be our URL path. And I want to create another method as a store and then multi image. Okay, so this type of one of the method now I want to create in our about controller. Now simply go to our about controller. So there is our about controller here. After this, I want to create a new one that will be as a public and then function and our method name will be store multi image. Here I simply loaded that part. Perfect. So our method is successfully created. So that is one of the post method. So for the reasons here, we have to do, we have to pass that as a request and then the dollar request. Okay, that is a request and the dollar request. Perfect. So friend, our procedure will be same for upload that images. Uh, for the upload that images here, I have already done this, right? You can see that is one of the if condition. The same procedure now we have to apply. Uh, first of all, I want to do to take it. I will take it our um, images part. That means our field data. If you want to get that field data, better have to take one of the variable as image. And image will be which one? That will be the request. So requested. And with this requested, that is one of the file type. That, that will be one of the file type. And into this file type area, our name, our field name. If you go to our multi image part here, I have already named it as a multi image right that is our name so i simply take it that means whatever the images right now will be selected here i take it by this variable as a image great and now i want to do to put on the condition okay i want to put on the condition so here our condition will be which one that right now that is a multiple data so when you deal with any multiple data here we have to do we have to run it as a for each loop right one by one it should be get all that our multiple images and then i want to do and to save it so if you want to do this work i want to make it as a for each okay so then that will be a for each and into this for each area i have all whatever the images i will be uploaded i take the things with this variable as an image so now that will be as an image Okay, so image and I name it as right now we don't need any value. I name it as as multi image, okay, multi underscore image. I name it our for each one by one. We have to get all the images. So that is all that our uploaded images, requested uploaded images. I have already take it in here. So now as multi image. So now with this multi image, I want to want to add all that our images. So that will be just like that same before. Um, like it should be generated one of the ID okay it should be generated one of the ID and then our image size will be needed and save URL will be needed okay I simply copy it 
from our update about uh, that is the update about page here i have also uploaded some of the images you can see there is the same things but i copy it and now after that okay after that or rather then um, you can also take total things but i copy it and total notification i simply copy everything from here okay i copy everything from to this position now in particular our multi images in our for each loop area here i paste it perfect so now our mm, name i hope you already know that it will be created on the hexadecimal unique id and for our that images okay so that our images and then get mm, client original extension which is totally fine it will be gated and images will be needed that make um, images so that is our image images will be the resize and for that image if you go if you click as a save as okay click as a save as um, that is the images save as i want to save it in our exercise folder here i have already saved it you can see that is the images so now that image the our dimension as a two two zero and two two zero right so now i want to do want to update it that will be as a 220 then 220 and 220 great and then that will be upload in our which place i want to create another folder as a multi okay multi so this type of another folder now i want to create in our upload folder now go to our um, upload folder here right now i want to create another new folder i name it as a uh, multi okay so now multiple images will be saved in particular that folder area which is totally fine or you have resize it and save url will be as a upload and then multi and then our generated name okay so perfect so same procedure actually and here make that sure you use that as a images so i want to do i want to load that images and and also i want to upload in our which table i want to upload in our multi images table right for the multi images i have already created another model first of all we have to do have to load this model i want to do and load it a name or model name as a multi image right so now first of all i want to do and load that image that is our model name as a multi image so now into the multi image model here i want to do and store this data so i want to do right now that is not that update here i want to do i want to insert it right i want to insert it so i want to do that will be our multi image so into the multi image i want to do and insert it so right now we don't need this i want to insert directly okay that is the insert method so why this insert method now i want to insert okay so right now that is a, our field name our field name i simply remove it okay simply remove it okay like right now there's the images our images will be our save url which will be just like that same but our field name our field name as a multi image right so in our database field name as a multi image and here it will be save our image perfect perfect and also if you want to store um, the created at okay that means when our images will be inserted if you want to add it then you can also add it our database field name if you go our database field name as a created at I have simply loaded that created that and created that will be our current time current time if you want to access then there is another method as a carbon okay with this carbon now date i want to apply so then that will be a carbon now date okay and when you use that as a carbon also we have to do we have to load it so if you want to load that means here we have to use it i want to do i want to use I want to use our that will be the illuminate into this illuminate and then the backslash as a support into the support then that will be as a carbon okay so now i simply support it that is our carbon okay friend i hope it's very much clear to you now that will be also inserted our current time so it will be inserted the current time it will be inserted that images or notification or notification will be display as a multiple image okay multiple image i make it as a multiple okay mul multiple or multi 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 image inserted successfully okay this type of one of the message then that will be display and it will be return alert type alert type will be as a success so for now i didn't create any all page for now i want to make it as a return redirect to the back page with the notification which is totally fine friend that's all you have to do i hope every part is very much clear to you now in our insert image uh, that means our multi image area it will be inserted our multiple images data okay now let's check this out if you now click as a save all and now if you go i want to refresh it okay, and refresh it 
and now I want to choose multiple images like here I'm to choose one two three four okay I'm to choose that four images now click as open right now there is a four files and now if you click as add multi image now there is another error as a call to number function get client original extension it's because of all here you can see friend i have already up <laughs> added that not if condition that is one of the for each loop right into this for each loop whatever the images will be uploaded i take the things with the images and now if you want that is our for each loop we started so into this for each loop then that will be a, now we have to access our images by our another variable as a multi image right so now that should be the change like here you can see i'm using that image so now that should be as a multi image and also that will be as a multi image okay so actually right now that is our for each loop now i simply update it great now let's check this out click as a save all now i want to go back and go back first of all i want to check the database no there have no data is inserted and also i want to check our folder yeah there is not inserted any data I hope you get that idea of what exactly the issue because of all here right now we are into the for each loop our for each loop is started from to this position is ended so here right now i make that our images as another variable as a multi image so now that should be as a multi image okay so now click the save all now let's check this out again now i want to refresh it and now i want to choose another four file Okay, I choose that four. Now click as a select. There is four file. Add multi image. Yes, you can see it's now successfully inserted. There's a multi image inserted successfully. And now if you go to our database, that is our multi images. Now click as a browse. Now you can see it's now inserted one data. Okay, it's inserted one data. And also if you go to our multi image, it's inserted one data. Okay, that means one image is actually inserted it's because of all that means they have some of the issues in our for each loop right because that is our for each loop not inserted multiple one so i have actually initiated our for each loop um, in here right so here actually i finish it i copy that data for the reasons that is actually happening uh, right now there is a for each loop there is a images portion and then that will be our multiple images then that is actually our notification right so here our and that is our our and for each i will simply and ended in here right now cut it that will be after this okay after this i want to do and to end it so better i put some of the note for you that that will be as the end of the sorry and of the for each okay then that will be the end of the for each so here actually that will be finished and then that will be display or notification okay so now that should be work because it's only get that one loop because one by one it will be insert all that our multiple data right because in from here i have already passed that our empty array so now one by one that should be inserted so i want to make it as ended uh, after that multi image our hand for each is ended for each is started from to this position Hmm. now that should be work now let's check this out click as a save all now I want to insert another one like here i refresh it okay I refresh it and now i want to choose another multiple image like i choose one two three now click as open right now there is a three file now click as add multi image multi image is inserted successful now go to our database now click as a browse hmm. you can see now it successfully inserted multiple images at a time and also if you go to our page then it's folder yes you can see it's multiple images inserted at a time okay friend so that is actually some of the for each loop issues like our for each loop will be ended after that insert that data okay i have actually inserted it after that return data for the reasons only one data is actually is inserted so now one by one in our for each loop area then that will be inserted in our multi images table inserted one by one all and also i have created added that created now if you want to check it you can see it's now successfully inserted our created now date perfect 
right now we are able to successfully insert that multiple data how to do this work friend i hope it's very much clear to you so now in our next video in our next video i want to do that is all that are multiple images data i want to get all the data and in our back end that means in our back end i want to display all the data and from here if you want to edit it if you want to update that multiple images how you can deal with this step by step i will show you that things with the live example so thanks for watching i will see you in the next video